I can't wait to get to spring training and see those guys performing and, uh, you know, adding Chris Sale to, to the rotation, I guess, makes us the best team in baseball when it comes to arms and on papers. So I can't wait to see all those guys trying to go at it and, and trying to become the ace of the staff, every one of them. When you have that many guys with that kind of talent, you expect to have those things happen. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't set up a, a set of rules for them to follow or, or have something going like we did in 04. In 04, we had some rules where, you know, they're drinking the water in certain amount of time and, and doing different things, winning innings. Uh, I remember me and D-Lo having a little competition when it came to co consecutive innings pitch without allowing a run. And, and that, was, that was so much fun. I hope these guys pick it up and actually do that. You know, Wakey was my secret weapon. When something went wrong, he was my pitching coach. Not precisely Joe Kerrigan. He was the one that knew me from the time I got in to the time I left. And, and uh, I relied on Wakey a lot. And a lot of people might say, oh, it's weird. But he was the one that really understood my mechanics and understood what I was doing wrong. Uh, you probably think, well, the low was more suited to tell Pedro. But no, it was Wakey who took the time to go to the video room, keep your arm on top. You know, some of those things that uh, some other people would not attempt to do when I was pitching. And Wakey wasn't afraid. I was the same way with him too. So that's why you see the back and forth because if, if, if you look at David Price and, and Stephen Wright right now, it's a power pitcher with a knuckler. So the knuckler is, is they happen to fall one behind the other could be a little weapon because more is going to be 67 so it, it could be a little weapon like like me and waking